the JAMA Network. Jill Herndon knows that regular eye exams are very important. She had a family history of glaucoma and was diagnosed with the disease at age 40. It's always a scary thing to contemplate losing one's vision. Jeffrey Miller didn't have a family history of glaucoma, but pressure in his eyes began to increase in his 30s. I don't take my eyesight for granted. I'm one who really, really appreciates what I've been able to maintain. Dr. Robert Weinreb from the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine and co-authors examined more than a decade of medical literature on how to detect and treat open angle and closed angle glaucoma. The eye is like a sink. It has a faucet and it has a drain. In one of them, the drain is blocked internally, and one of them, the drain is covered up and, and blocked on the outside. This increases pressure in the eye and can damage the optic nerve. Primary care providers could have a major role in detecting, recognizing, and referring patients who are at highest risk for developing glaucoma. The review appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We single out those individuals who have high intraocular pressure, who have a family history of glaucoma, and then there are certain ethnicities that are also at highest risk for glaucoma, particularly those of African ancestry and also Latino ancestry. Medications are commonly prescribed to reduce the pressure from fluid buildup. There are also several different surgical options. However, early detection and treatment remain the most important factors for successful management of glaucoma. Both Jill and Jeffrey continue to work with Dr. Weinreb in keeping their eye pressure in check. Vision is everything. It's your primary sense. It's how we initially take in our world. Get your eyes checked just as early as you can and as thoroughly as you can. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.